Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Lithography, this is China's weakness. Semiconductor processes below 5 nanometers are still a challenge because there are no top-level lithography machines. After all, top-level chips still rely on top-level lithography machines. But the world's top lithography machines are only ASML in the Netherlands, especially the extreme ultraviolet lithography machines, which have been completely controlled by ASML. China is at an absolute disadvantage in this regard. So Tsinghua University came up with an idea. If the lithography machine cannot be made for a while, then the lithography factory will do. What is the lithography factory? What is the difficulty of the lithography machine? If you have to say why China cannot currently manufacture top-level lithography machines, it depends on its own complexity. The lithography machine is not an instrument in the general sense. It can be said to be the most accurate instrument in the world today. The etching platform consists of three major elements, namely, the light source, the optical path, and the platform. These three elements are indispensable. First of all, the top EUV lithography machine uses deep ultraviolet light, at around 13.5 nanometers. To emit such light, the tin sheet must be hit with a laser and then converted into plasma. The tin ball is only tens of microns in size, and it needs to be accurately shot with a laser beam at a speed of 50,000 times per second. And the light it emits will not last too long, and it needs to pass through a set of precise reflective devices to absorb it. Every link in this process must achieve millimeter accuracy, otherwise the expected results will not be achieved at all. As for optics, it is even more troublesome. The most important work in this step is to irradiate far ultraviolet rays onto the chip, and the lens required is the atomic level accuracy. If the lens is placed in a place as large as the Earth, the fluctuation of its curved surface cannot even exceed a hair. This kind of lens can only be made by Zeiss in Germany in the world, so the optical path of the lithography machine is so expensive. The operating table of the lithography machine also needs very precise operation. When etching the chip, every operation of the platform must be accurate to the nanometer level. What's more, every small component on the lithography machine requires patents from all over the world. Only ASML has the ability to assemble it. It is almost impossible for China to break through the barriers of this technology in a short time. In response to this high-tech obstacle, Tsinghua University has taken the lead in conducting a new experimental research in the past two years, namely steady-state microcluster injection, SSMB. Conventional EUV lithography machines use a high-energy laser to irradiate tiny tin particles, which are converted into plasma at high temperature in an instant and emit strong ultraviolet rays. In contrast, SSMB uses an accelerator to make it run at near-light speed in the storage ring, thus replacing the use of lasers and tin. When passing through the magnetic field, these fast electrons will change and emit light of various colors, from far infrared to far ultraviolet, especially the extreme ultraviolet band. Compared with conventional plasma, SSMB has higher efficiency and higher emission efficiency, and is expected to achieve higher emission efficiency. It is a large, high-intensity, High stability light source that is regulated by continuously changing orbits. It's like a shooting contest. You use a large caliber gun, but you use a stronger, longer, and more dispersed cannon, so you don't have to worry about missing the target. So, this plan is called a lithography plant. 
This lithography plant is not as portable and convenient as the ASML lithography machine, but it can be completely ignored if it is manufactured in China. Anyway, there is a lot of land and electricity is not a problem. If a new factory can be built, China's strength in the semiconductor field will make a qualitative leap. China has launched the lithography plant plan. Will ASML panic? The answer is yes. Although ASML has an absolute advantage, its process path also has great defects. Conventional EUV lithography machines rely on the interaction between lasers and tin liquid, which has certain physical limitations. The current power consumption of EUV light sources is 250W, the power consumption of 3 nanometers process is 500W, and the power consumption of 1 nanometer process has reached an astonishing 1000W, which is impossible. Since SSMB does not need to bombard the tin beads with lasers, it can obtain higher output energy in principle, thus breaking through the traditional constraints and making its output stronger and more stable. In addition, as a new type of EUV lithography machine, the production cost of SSMB will have certain advantages over conventional EUV lithography. There are still many experimental equipments at present, and even a larger accelerator needs to be built, but considering energy consumption and work efficiency, the cost of SSMB will be greatly reduced. Although the lithography plant is still under trial, its huge development prospects must have made ASML feel huge competitive pressure. China does not follow the conventional mode of technological development. On the contrary, it is opening up a new path. At present, this road is still far away, but when the SSMB process matures, the operation mode of this lithography plant is likely to have a huge impact on the lithography machine industry. In short, although China does not have the ability to make a world-class lithography machine in a short time, Tsinghua's conception of lithography plant has brought them a new idea. The advantage of a lithography plant is that it does not rely on ultrafine, small-sized instruments, and can use a large-scale, centralized method to manufacture chips. At present, the competition in the semiconductor industry worldwide is becoming increasingly fierce, and the creative thinking of the Chinese has opened up a whole new situation for the future production of integrated circuits. Lithography equipment may not be able to achieve revolutionary changes in a short period of time, but there is no doubt that this will change the entire chip industry. Let's wait and see whether this brave vision can turn the situation around.